Greetings, YouTube. It's one of those days where I get off work, I check my line messages, and I have so many of the same kind of message that I am almost overwhelmed with surprise. It is no secret that this 24-hour time span was the original Cole Obsidian and or Namor, depending on if you had the champions and sold them, return of rank up materials. But let me tell you, I have heard so many freaking stories that blow my mind. And by now, I'm sure many of you have heard the same stories where essentially people got free Namor and Coles. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, the champion that they got originally wasn't free, but many of you who reached out to me, you sold an unawakened champion. You were just expecting to get the resources back that you spent on that champion to level them up. That unawakened champion, I should say. But then, when you scrolled over, you saw something like this. You saw a times two, or even a times three, by Namor or Cole. And suddenly, that unawakened champion is now awakened. Meaning, you got a free second version of that champion, which awakened them. Now, is this a pro player move? You better believe it. But is this going to piss a lot of people off who didn't have the opportunity to get bonus awakening gems? You better believe it. So I'm hearing from everybody. I'm hearing from people who are super upset that they couldn't take advantage of this and they think Kabam should do something. I'm hearing from people who said, well, I'm going to use these items and I'm not going to use them on uh, the original, like this generic awakening gem. I'm not going to use the generic awakening gem on um, either of them. I think what's most shocking to me is that it seems like Kabam, in order to play it safe, just awakened every champion that was sold. And so it says the items which were used to awaken or rank up your club city or name more have been returned. It almost assumes that every version of that champion was awakened. Now, maybe you're watching this and you unfortunately were one of the people who haven't reached out to me that did not get your champion awakened. I know this summoner that reached out to me was actually a little annoyed because he didn't see the tier three mutant catalysts in the um, returning of the items. But in general, what are we supposed to think about this? I am somebody that definitely is pro player, but this of course, gives those of you especially who sold unawakened champions a huge advantage over those who didn't. Ironically, I pulled Namor, uh, or not Namor, excuse me, I pulled Cole Obsidian for the first time after this was, um, this was, this period was over because I knew that was going to happen, right? I figured it'd be Cole and Namor, but I haven't pulled Namor yet. So I don't know what Kabam can do about this. I don't think that they have either the time or the desire or the means to go back through these accounts and take away these essential awakening gems or the process of awakening the champion by claiming them twice or more. So this might just be it. So how do you feel if you didn't get this? How do you feel if you're somebody who's on the outside looking in and you can't have this kind of perk. Are you furious? Are you happy for your fellow summoners? Are you a combination of both? I'd love to hear your thoughts because I think what's done is done. I just can't imagine that they're going to they're gonna do much because once they go into one account, they've got to go into a lot of accounts and a lot of people were affected by this. So this might just be what it looks like, but who knows? Maybe Kabam will come out and they'll say, we have a new algorithm that will determine if we gave you a accidental awakened champ, we'll take it away. But for now, I'm staring at what... Uh, a lot of people are, and that's just uh, a blessing that is an awakened champion that was sold unawakened. Imagine that. What a world we live in to start out 2020.